Oh, you want to remove your pedals, but they're stuck. Oh no, what do you do? Well, don't worry, in this video, I'm gonna show you how to remove them and unstick them. And as ever, for more maintenance tips, tricks, and how-tos, well, if you wanna support the channel and show a bit of appreciation, why not like and subscribe if you haven't already? It does actually really help us out. Step one, make yourself a brew. Why? Because any maintenance job is better with a brew, preferably in a mug available from Shop.Global Cycling Network. Next, to remove your pedals, you're gonna need either a Allen wrench, such as this. Now, usually on most modern pedals, it's an eight millimeter Allen socket on the inside of the pedal, or on older pedals or some other different designs, you're gonna want a pedal spanner. You can also use an adjustable spanner or wrench like this, but a dedicated pedal spanner is really good because they're usually the correct width, 15 millimeters, which is the standard for most pedals, and they are designed to give you optimum leverage. Before you go any further and start trying to loosen or tighten things, it's important to remember which way the threads go so that you know that you're applying force in the right direction. This is important because the threads on pedals are actually reversed, they're opposite. This is so that when you're pedaling, neither pedal comes undone and loosens itself. So the right hand side pedal, the drive side pedal, that tightens in a clockwise uh, direction, whereas the non-drive side pedal, that tightens in an anti-clockwise direction. This can still be a bit confusing, so I find a much easier way to remember it is to do the following. Find the pedal that you want to loosen or take off and then rotate the crank arm so that that pedal is in the forward position, as you can see it here. Then take your Allen wrench and pop it in like so. And then remember that to tighten it, you're going to be pushing down because that's the direction that you pedal in. And so pedals are designed to self-tighten as you pedal. So pushing down, which is the direction you pedal in, will tighten it. Whereas if I pull up, that will undo it. You can see it's gone there now. And I can twist it in that direction and it comes off. And this is the same for both pedals. So simply put it into the forward position. Remember then, insert your Allen key or your spanner if you're doing it on the axle. Pushing down will tighten it, pulling up will undo it. Now I appreciate many of you may have known all that already, but just in case you didn't, I wanted to make sure we cover that off first so that people aren't doing that thing of actually tightening their pedal even more when they're trying to loosen it. Now, assuming your pedal is stuck, one of the first things that's often worth doing, it does no harm, um, is to apply some lubricating spray to it. So um, something like this MO94 is great. A lot of these kind of sprays contain PTFE, but one of the things I like about this one is it's biodegradable, it doesn't contain PTFE much better for the environment. So a little bit of that on there often helps proceedings. I'm also gonna suggest that you don't try and do what I've been doing, which is operate on your bike, trying to remove the pedals with it in a stand like this, but do it with the bike on the ground. The reason for that is you can actually apply more force, as I will show you. With the bike on the ground, what you can then do is put your weight through the pedal with your hand as well, or your foot. So if I go over the bike, I can put my foot on the pedal and then pull up with the Allen key. There we go. Now alternatively, if your pedals aren't designed to be undone with an Allen wrench, then you can use a pedal spanner, usually on the gap, just on the outside of the pedal before the spindle begins. Now, a dedicated pedal spanner such as this is a great tool because you'll notice that it has these two notches that are in different orientations. And this is so that you can get the pedal spanner in the optimum position to exert maximum leverage. And so that is like this. If you have the crank once again in the forward position and then you apply the pedal spanner to it so that the pedal spanner 
is facing backwards along the length of the crank. And then simply by pushing down on it, and again, you can put force through the pedal, either with your hand or your foot, push down and it's undone. Something else I've seen people do on the internet with really stubborn pedals is to get the opposing crank arm and then fasten it to the chainstay, usually with like a rag or a cloth or something, some form of padding underneath and then put a fastener like a load of zip ties or some kind of strapping around that to clamp it in place and then exert force through the pedal axle that you're trying to undo while it's in the forward position. Now in my experience, I've never had to do this and I would be wary of doing this, particularly on a carbon frame. On a steel or aluminium frame, perhaps, maybe you could get away with doing that, but I think it's a pretty extreme thing to have to do and I would say that in my experience, size does matter. The most important thing is having an appropriate tool. So if you're trying to use like a little tiny Allen key or a small spanner, you've got no way near as much leverage. I mean, look how much, how long that is. And the same with this Allen key. And again, this is a proper workshop Allen key. And you can see it's quite a bit bigger than the average eight mil Allen key, but that means you've got that greater leverage to really undo the pedal. It's just all about physics and moments. So the longer the tool you've got, the longer the lever, and that way you can multiply the force that you're applying at the fulcrum. And yes, I am fully aware of all the double entendres in this video, sorry, but not sorry. If your tool isn't long enough, then what you can do as a hack is get an extender. So you could simply get, say, a tube um, or a piece of pipe and then use that over the top of your like existing tool to just lengthen that lever and make it longer, give you more leverage, and then you're applying more force at the point at which you're trying to undo the thread. So that should work. Well, hopefully watching this video, you've managed to unstick your pedal. And if you have, give us a thumbs up and subscribe. Really appreciate it. And I'll see you in the next one. Cheers, bye.